Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about periods and groups. This will be the second quarter topic, week 6 and day 1. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to describe the organization of the periodic table in terms of periods and the groups. The second one is to construct a physical or digital model of the periodic table that accurately represents the placement of elements in periods and groups. And the third one is to appreciate the periodic table as a useful tool for organizing and predicting the behavior of the elements. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will accomplish the true or false activity. So ask the students to raise their left hand if they think the statement is true and if false, ask them to raise their right hand. For the lesson activity, ask the following questions. For the first question, how are the elements in the periodic table arranged? And for the second question, is it necessary to memorize the entire periodic table? And the third one, is there a way that we can locate an element in a quick way? In unlocking of content area vocabulary, present these new terms to students students and explain their definition. The first word is the word period. It is a horizontal row of the periodic table containing elements with the same valence electron configuration. The second word is the word group. It is a vertical column in the periodic table containing elements with smaller chemical properties and behavior. And the third word is the word representative. These are the elements in groups 1, 2, 13, and 18 of the periodic table, which have more predictable chemical properties. Another word is the word transition. It is the elements in groups 3 to 12 of the periodic table, which have more complex chemical behavior and properties. Another word is the word metalloids. These are the elements that exhibit properties intermediate between the metals and non-metals, typically found along the staircase separating the metals and non-metals on the periodic table. Another word is the word metal. It is an element that is typically shiny, malleable, and a good conductor of heat and electricity. Metals are found on the left side and the center of the periodic table. For the explicitation, use analogies to the periodic table such as cinema, concert venue, or simple classroom setting arrangement. Make sure that there is a visual representation provided to them. And ask this question, what is your recent experiences in cinema? Elements are compared as seats in the cinema. Imagine each seat in the cinema represent an element. Another one is the periods. So it compares as a rows. So the rows of the seats in the cinema can represent the periods in the periodic table. Another one are the groups or the sections. So sections within a row, typically A, B, and C, can be analogous to the groups, which is the columns in the periodic table. Seats within a section would share some common properties like armrest or legroom. 
Another one is the atomic number or the seat number. So seat numbers within each row can represent the number of the protons, unique identifier for an element, similar to the seating arrangement analogy explained earlier. Another one is the chemical properties or the seat type. So the type of seat such as regular, recliner, balcony can represent the chemical properties of the elements. For example, recliner seats could be for more reactive elements while regular seats could be for less reactive elements. A modern periodic table arranges the element in increasing order of their atomic numbers and groups atoms with similar properties in the same vertical column. Each box represents an element and contains its atomic number, symbol, average atomic mass, and the name. These elements are arranged in seven horizontal rows called the periods or series and 18 vertical columns called the groups. Groups are labeled at the top of each column. IOPAC recommends that, that the number 1 through 18 be used for the table to fit on the single page. Parts of two of the rows, a total of 14 columns, are usually written below the main body of the table. For the work example, so the students will accomplish activity called elements of life so atoms of the following elements are essential for life then the teacher will guide the students on how to provide the group number and period number of the following elements Thank you for watching so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.